Hello and welcome. My name is Olga Schwa, and I'll be your guide this afternoon, this evening, for a bit of settling breath work. And I'm so delighted to, to gather with you this cold day. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe to support this channel. And settling into a position that feels like you could be there for a while. And of course, at any moment, you let the body get more comfortable. If you find a way that needs shifting, that's the priority here. But the invitation, at least for the next 20 or so minutes, is to find your greatest, your greatest comfort. We'll do a breathing practice and we'll move that into a yoga nidra. And either way, both of these practices being practices of inward attention need the body to be at its best, right? So lying down is invited. Horizontal is a great way to be. Wouldn't it be nice? If Congress were held horizontally. Can you imagine all those important decision makers lying down, taking a deep breath, and connecting to their hearts, and what they need and what they feel. <laughs> we're doing big work here in these spaces of self-care. We really are. So. Make no mistake how important your contribution is to feel and to be aware of the breath and to just hang out with the breath for the next minute. Being a witness, a witness of this miracle. We judge the life of things by the presence of breath. And as you arrived on this planet the day you were born and took a first breath, that breath has been the lifelong companion here of this physical form of this human body and shall be with you through your whole life. Dear friend, so be aware, be aware of this breath in this moment. Notice what it feels like physically. Again, a clinical question. What does the breath feel like arriving in the body? What's your experience there in the physical form of the breath? Can you feel it in the nose? Is it somewhere in the throat? Where's the breath noticeable? Do the, do the ribs make any little sounds as they expand and, and come back down? Sometimes the belly makes noises as the diaphragm pumps, its inhales and exhales listening to any little sounds. And there might be some special sounds if a yawn is coming or there might be a, a natural swallow. You might hear those plicks and the clicks in the ears and around the throat there. And listen to the breath, be with the breath. And our practice tonight will be the warming breath Ujjayi Pranayam. Many of you are familiar with that name, that practice. And if you are, you're welcome to just slide right into your practice. And I'll give a brief teaching of accessing this warming breath, this soothing and tranquilizing breath, a breath that's perfect for a winter evening. A breath which invites you to focus at the throat and to listen to the breath. And some of us practice ujjayi spontaneously, naturally. Some of us find ourselves in this form of breath upon awakening or falling asleep because it is the breath that is at the, the foothills of snoring, if you will. If it's exaggerated, it could turn into a snore or even a roar. But for the practice, you're keeping it soft, you're keeping it subtle. Awareness at the throat and think of the letters A-H when you breathe in, making that sound, keeping the lips closed, but the sound would be ah. And then the exhale comes with an H-A. I'm demonstrating with an open mouth for the, the sound if, if that's helpful, but the sound is subtle. It's your own sound inside of the throat, inside of the, the head. And the vocal cords are there, but they're not the ones making the sound. You're not vocalizing. It's the air moving through that muscular pattern in the throat. The, oh. 
On the inhale, la. On the exhale. The mouth shall be closed to keep the moisture in the mouth. So if you are exploring and experimenting with opening, then be sure to remember to close and moisturize the mouth. But the lips shall be closed. They can be closed and the mind can focus on this subtle sound, breathing in, breathing out. Just on the edge of a snore, just on the edge of a roar. Can you slow it down? Can you make that breath linger? Take your time with the exhale a little, let it arrive slowly. And especially take the time with the exhale. Can you extend the exhale? Make it last, be complete. Get all the way to the end. And there's no rush. There are four parts to the breath. The inhales and the exhales are as important as those moments in between them. The transitions, the switches, and there's no rush. If it feels good to hang out for a moment with the breath in, take your time. If it feels good to breathe out and just be there in the, the breathlessness, no worries. The body will breathe. The body will care for this breath. And if there's a game worth playing, worth exploring, let this be the moment, the opportunity. Let this focus on the breath. What, what does the breath need? What does the body need from the breath? How does the breath feel? And how do you wish the breath to feel? Is there something that might feel really good. Are you longing for a deeper breath or a longer breath? Maybe a yawn, maybe a full breath, a yogic breath. Maybe a, a divided and interrupted breath or, or a forced exhale. Anything you might need right now. Notice the breath's needs. And then letting that go. At some point, returning to the natural breath, coming back to watch the breath, the presence, the inhale and the exhale. There is no rush and no hurry. Thank you again for making this time to care for yourselves and your bodies. And I know that ripples into the world and creates a better, a better environment for everyone. So. Looking forward to seeing you on the Zoom Mondays and also Wednesdays. Thank you for watching. Please like the video and leave a comment about your experience. And while you're here, please subscribe to my channel and opt in for notifications to catch the next class I upload. And then head over to olgaschwa.com to join in a live event or to work one-on-one -on -one with me. I'm here to help.